Hi everybody, Jo here again. How are you doing? I hope you're keeping well. Welcome to our Fairy Fest. We've got fabulous things, wonderful tutorials, videos, you've got lives coming. I mean, so much online. And if you're coming into the store, obviously it'd be fabulous to meet you in person. So I'm going to kick off today our fairy fest with this lovely design and I've got to be honest as soon as I saw the new owls I just I just knew you were going to love them I could use the pun and say I think they're going to fly off the shelves but you know me I wouldn't do that would I anyway back to this I adore this little fella now I must admit I've not had chance to ask Tracy how you pronounce his name so I'm going to call him by you now we may find out that that's not correct but you know me I make up silly names anyway. So he's a fabulous chap and he's on this gorgeous vine branch. And it, it's a very simple design, this, but I think really effective and I loved making it and it just made me smile. You know, I, I was dying to put on here, there's always one. <laughs> but I just, sometimes it's lovely to bring humour into our card making and our designs. And I think this would make a fabulous journal page. So I'm going to pop that up there and we're going to start. This is the lovely chap. Now look at him. He's gorgeous. And I know you're going to want to know what sort of size he is. And let me measure him. So that's about four centimetres and across his eyes about four and a half, four to four and a half. He's, he's just fabulous. You know, when you certainly get new designs and you think, oh, he's so cute. I love him. Well, that's what I did. I'm going to start with multi fairies card and we're going to use an A5 piece. I'm going to file that down there. And I'm going to start like I do with some stamping first. And we'll come in with our lovely vine branch. And again, look at this beautiful, sizable stamp. Now, again, depending obviously whether you want it to come in from the left or the right look, you could stamp it that way or I'm going to stamp it that way, but fabulous. I mean, you could stamp it. We could almost make it into a tree, couldn't we? Look, it could be a tree that way or even hanging down. I mean, that's what I love. So many possibilities. Now I'm using black. This is my VersaFine Claire and it's the Nocturne. Again, you could use brown. And, and to me, brown or green would have been the obvious choice, but I... I just sometimes I fancy just doing something a bit different. So we're going black. And I'm going to stamp it sort of about here. So have any of you put your orders in already? I bet you have. I know you lot. You've been so excited waiting to see what this new release is. And there are so many here that you're going to love. And the good thing is, depending what sort of style you like, there is. that's what I love about the way Tracy hand draws these. There are so many different ones that, as I say, depending what your style is, there'll be something to suit you. And, you know, for me, I know I have a different style to a lot of the rest of the design team, which again is good because then you can see how we all work, which is perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to use it. I could draw this here, but I just want to almost make a, a fuzzy edge so we won't realise whether I don't want it hanging. But if I actually use this end, we can get round it. So I'm thinking I'm going to put one sort of there. And then Shall we have this one? If we put that there, that'll just go over. Oh dear, did you hear that? My shoulder's cracked. I'm not sure why. Hey ho. And that, can you see, because I've stamped here, it's not as obvious then. And we're going to add some ink there. Might just, while I've got a bit of ink left on there, do you think we could just add a bit of second generation and... Just peeping through, second, third, fourth. Yeah, I think that just adds to it, don't you? So now for the main man. Now, I don't know, if in my head, he's male. Well, you can decide. He's just cute, I know that. But I'm going to call him a he. 
now my first one I'm going to do at the top so I'm thinking let's pop in about here it's just hanging on as an owl does beautiful and then let's just check we've got enough room yep yeah, for our little this one thinks he's a bat as I say it's good to be different so many possibilities with these and I'm thinking I'm just gonna put him there I hope you've checked out the, the samples that the design team have made. So proud to be part of this design team. And again, everybody's are so different, which is lovely. As soon as you look at them, I'm sure you're like me. As soon as I see cards from the design team, I know exactly who's made it. Because it's just their style. There we go. Lovely. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a blot. She says, I need to find a clean piece. So first fine clay, slower drying ink. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a blot and then I won't smudge it. And then I'm going to add some colour to the owl. So I'm going to come in with some oxides. And I've got a selection of oxides here. So I'm going to use Vintage Photo, Ground Espresso, maybe a little bit of Lost Shadow and some Crackling Campfire. And really, it's just to get, and I'm just going to watercolour the owls, and it's just to get sort of a, a good base. So what I tend to do is pop my inks on my mat. So I'll have a little bit of Lost Shadow there, a little bit of Crackling Campfire next to it, some Vintage Photo there, and some Ground Espresso there. And this is just the way I tend to work. And I've got two of my lovely Lavinia brushes. One, my fine one, and one. So one's the number one and one's the number four. And I'm just going to start with the number four. And the lost shadow, the grey, just to give a sort of basis for my owl. And I'm just going to almost put a wash on. And then I'm going to come in with the vintage photo. And again, I'm just going to give a bit of a wash around the owl. Sounds good, doesn't it? Giving my owl a wash. And it's just to get some overall coverage. And then I'll go in and add a little bit more detail. And again, you multifarious card is happy with water being added so we'll just add a bit of a wash here as well just to the the larger bits of this lovely branch and again i love can you tell watercolor painting it just relaxes me so much i mean this would be perfect to batch card make you know, if you've got a nice afternoon and you just want to sit and do some painting. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to come in with my smaller brush now. And I'm going to come in with my darker colour. So that's the Ground Espresso. And I'm just going to add a bit more detail here looking. Just these little nooks and crannies. Oh, just looked outside my window. Got a lovely little bird feeder that it's supposed to encourage the smaller birds because it's the lid goes quite low. But I've got a pigeon sat on my um, obelisk and he can just get his head in the gap, so he's having quite a nice feed. Right, so I'm just adding a little bit of detail to some of these areas, and then what I'll do is go in and just add some little just under the again we've got the most gorgeous detail on these feathers so just dotting in and around here look and it'll really make this area pop just because you're adding the shade behind it so we'll do the same on this chap here 
Mr. Batty Owl. <laughs> We'll just add a couple where we've got these darker bits, just to give a bit more shade and just to make it look a bit more interesting. Now again, you can take as long as you want. I'll just give you a little synopsis of what you can do. Now what I want to do is come in with the orange and I'm just cleaning my brush on my inky binky, just a piece of cloth in between and with the orange that's where I just want to add a little bit of orange and I'm sorry if my head comes in shot but I just want to get a bit closer to see just to bring in a little bit round the eyes again just make them pop a little bit more and like I say you can take a lot longer than this take more time same on this one the detail is amazing in these. So, have you got a brew today? I hope so. Have you got a brew and a cheeky biscuit? And what's your favourite cheeky biscuit? I don't know what mine would be actually. Probably something with chocolate on. <laughs> To be honest, my answer is always anything that I can eat at the time. Right, so I'm going to add a little bit of orange just to some of this, almost a highlight look. You don't need a lot. It's just, again, as I've said before, we like a nice, to take Tim's word, a cohesive design. And that's what, that's what this is. If you bring in the, that orange as well, in a little bit here, it makes the whole thing look so much better. We're not going mad with lots of different colours and we're just going to paint his little feet, look, his little claws, orange as well. Right, mister, where are yours? Yours are there. Like I say, the detail, when you actually get to see these, stunning. I always think when we record things, you know, from my point of view, it never really does it justice when you actually see things in the flesh. Right. Now, I know you're going to shout at me, but where's my water spritzer? I'm going to just mop this up. Now, obviously, if we weren't having our coffee and catching up together, I would use a piece of paper and make a background up. I'm sure you don't want to see me do that. So I'm just going to mop that up so we can carry on. Now what I'm going to do now is just add some ink around the edge. And I'm thinking I'll go with my vintage photo. And I'm just going to use, you could use your brushes for this. I'm just going to use a blending tool because for me I'm a little bit quicker. And I'm going to start... Again, be mindful in case my hand's dirty. I want to keep this area white. So I'm going to start in the corner and I always ink up in the corner. And then we'll just come up here. Ink up again. In the corner. And right across the top. Turn it round again. For me, it's easy to turn my work. If I want, I can follow that shape there, look. That looks nice. And then down there, again, turn my work. Ink up on the corner. And again, if we follow that shape there, and then right across the bottom. We can even go up there, look, to follow that shape. So we've almost followed the shape round. Now you can go right round, just like we normally do, or you can do this depending on how you feel and again if you're blending if you're worried about it don't worry now I'm just going to come in with a little bit of darker the darker colour just on the corners I think it'll just add a bit of extra oomph I didn't do it on my original but I'm thinking it'll just just on these corners right and now I'm going to bring in my fan brush, tap 
the excess off and because I just want it round the edges I find it easier to hold my fan brush in the middle and almost work my way round. Just I don't really want to get any on my owls so if I just move it round and then I can just and if you're not so keen on your blending, this is a great way of hiding your blending. And again, we'll just clean this up. I like to keep a nice clean. What we need, if it's the fairy fest, we need a magic fairy to come in and clean our space for us, don't we? So that it's always clean. Now this, it's best if you want to leave it and let it just... It, it faux bleach is better if it's left but while that's happening I'm just going to take I've got a black fine liner here and I just want to accentuate there's a little bit here and I just want to make it almost pop a little bit more the edge of that and again the same with this eye here just as a little bit there that I just want to make it pop a little bit more right that's better I'm happier with that we do get very little bit like things don't we just so and now to add a little bit more detail we've got this lovely vine running through look can you see here so I'm going to come in with and this is a bronze these are on the website to the signal pens the metallic ones and while that's drying I'm just going to use the bronze and I just think to keep it sort of tone on tone and just add some highlights and again his little claws look got that there we've got one here look and I might just add a little bit just at the top a little bit on this one And, and I think that just helps make it pop. Just going to add a little bit on his beak. Right, so that's given this time to fold bleach. So I'm just going to pat it. And then I'm just going to belt and brace it. So again, it will be dry, but I just want to bring my heat tool in just to make sure. Same on the back. Always heat from the back as well. Look, we've got a lovely pattern on the back. And then time for my finishing trick. And again, finishing touches, Posca pen. Now, I'm afraid, I don't know, if you're anything like me, look at this next to me here. And this is just picking up a few. I have such a collection and I do keep the older ones. But when I get a new one, I write on it and I write the date on the lid. Just because for me... Obviously, when they get older, they're almost they splat better. But this one is the one mil because I want to just add some little highlights on these little buds here. Now, you could add some glitter if you want. The reason I'm not doing it is I think it's nice to have a card that could go for a, a male friend. So I don't want to over glitter it. Or it might be for a female crafter who doesn't like a lot of glitter. You know, we're not all the same. And, you know, we often make cards for people and we know their likes and dislikes. So you could add glitter. But like I say, I'm just not for this one. Now with the white, I'm also going to add just a little bit of highlight over here and a little bit to make his tummy pop. And the same, I'm going to turn it round and just a little bit on the top here and then a little bit to just make his tummy. Now, if you want to add some white splatters, again, good shake. Get one of your brushes, no need for anything dangerous, brush is fine, just come in and add a few little splats. Simple as that, direct it exactly where you want it and you can add a few more look and it looks lovely when it combines with the faux bleaching. And then we want a sentiment, so 
got my sentiment stickers here. And again, I've gone for the colour tone, so I've gone for the um, almost the autumn one, and I'm going to put rustic on this one. I thought it was rather fabulous, the autumn equinox. I thought that went well on the original. So, as always, oh, sorry, I've knocked my lamp. You know, one day you will get a professional here. <laughs> one day. So, as always, pop it on my scissors just so I can decide do I want it there? Do I want it up there in the middle? I want it here. You know, I quite like it there, so that's exactly where I'm going to pop it. Now, you could put glossy accents on his eyes as well, I think that would look lovely. I mean, there are so many different things you can do. So, there's the original, and there's the one we've created today. But I just want to show you, I've Purposely not mentioned the Christmas word because you could really Christmas this up. Now look at that. And for this one, I used shaded lilac and salvage patina. And just to show you, this is on a square. This is the Lavinia 6x6 square multifarious. And look at that. I'm thinking how beautiful would that be for Christmas? Maybe even a little Santa's hat. Oh, do you know what? Honestly, so many possibilities with these. I just think he's such a fabulous chap. So what I'll do is I'll bring in the one we've created today and pop him side by side. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you enjoy the rest of this wonderful event. Honestly, thank you, Tracy, for inviting me to be part of it. And thanks to the design team for your wonderful samples. And most of all, thanks to you lovely crafters for listening for spending time with us and for those of you that can come and see us. As always, you take care of yourselves, please, and be kind to each other. It's so important that. We're such a lovely family here. Oh, did you hear? Eric's asleep under my desk and he's dreaming at the minute. Maybe he just wanted to say goodbye as well. Anyway, you take care, everybody. See you again soon. Bye for now.